Hi everybody, I'm Johanna, illustrator, ink evangelist and colouring book creator. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to colour a fluffy bumblebee in my new book, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. So it's this little guy here and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to make him beautiful, colourful and fluffy. So the first thing to do is to grab some blank sheets of white paper and pop them, as always, behind the page that you're working on, just like this. What that does is it cushions your pencil or pen so you don't indent the pages below and it will also capture any ink which may try to transfer. Okay, let's get colouring. For this tutorial, you will need your copy of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, some Statler Ergo Soft colouring pencils. I've used three Tri Plus fine liners, the orange, the yellow and the black, and also some white A4 office paper. So here's a little bumblebee that I've started already and we're just gonna finish colouring in his bottom here and we're gonna make him nice and fluffy. So the first thing to do is grab your colouring pencils and I start with the lightest colour first and I'm going to go yellow before black because the black's going to overlay on top of the yellow so you need to have the yellow down first and go with your lightest colour. So once again, just layer up your colouring pencil. You're looking for lots of light layers as opposed to trying to go in hard and put down one heavy layer first. So I've done the yellow everywhere and then I'm just going to go back in and layer over the darker oranges. So you can see I've put the darker colours around these sort of two edges which should hopefully give the impression of roundness and overlay. So now we've done the yellow, we can do the black. I would keep your colouring pencil strokes going in the same way that you would imagine the fur of the bumblebee to lie, so not this way this way and that sort of keeps all your strokes looking natural. So I would be quite neat around this top edge and then you don't need to worry so much about the bottom because the furriness would overlap onto the yellow anyway. So with black you can push quite hard and get it really quite opaque. So I've left it a little bit lighter in this section here, a bit like I've done up there, which gives the impression of a bit of a highlight. And now that we've done the pencil, we can grab our pens and I will do the yellow first again. And I'm just going to draw over the top of the pencil and let these little lines fall over the edge of the drawn line, the outline. So again, go the same way as you would imagine a fur on the bee to lie, as opposed to this way. Do little strokes this way. And going over that outline gives it the idea of it being fluffy. darker orange now. And then lastly the black. 
so be careful you don't smudge any of the orangey yellow while it's drying and just very carefully start going over all the black with these short little strokes and don't forget that it's okay to go over that line at the bottom and make it look fluffy and layered. So there you go, that's how I would colour a fluffy bumblebee and then you can just use your black pen to make this line a little less solid and a little bit more fuzzy and you're done. So there you go, that's how I would colour this little bumblebee in the book. I hope that's given you some inspiration for your colouring and I can't wait to see how you colour all the bumblebees in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Thanks for watching and happy colouring!